previously on Life from the Inside. Grass. It's sweet grass juice. Uh, but it tastes like grass. It is grass. Do you two realize how many accidents occur outside the home? Millions a year. I need to get inside. That was just a clever name. You thought they'd call it wheat grass to make people want to drink it? Shark attacks happen outdoors exclusively. Like how grasshopper cookies and pies are actually mint flavored? Mint. That makes way more sense. Does it? No one ever died in a car accident in their own home. That's just not true. I need to get inside. You're just upset because your wife left you and now you're all alone. No man's wife ever left him standing in the middle of the street holding an accordion while he was sitting on his sofa. Well, you can't argue with that. <sighs> Maybe we should help him. Fine, but I'm not making a habit out of this. I'll probably never see him again. I hate this accordion. Does he always complain this much? Can he? He's just having a bad day. Oh, when I get inside, I'm gonna smash this accordion with a baseball bat. Oh good, my neighbor's psychotic. If you ever heard my wife play this thing, you'd agree with me. I'm sorry. Thanks for helping me, I really appreciate it. I'm not usually this crazy. I'll probably be fine tomorrow. Sure. Your life can't possibly fall apart every day. We'll see. So do you guys want to come inside or something? Uh, Mr. Chuckles and I were just about to have a tea party to celebrate Guy being such a hero. Indeed! No girls allowed! <laughs> He's kidding. He wants you to come in. In fact, he insists. Free tea? And oh, what a tea we had. Mr. Chuckles made a toast, honoring me for being such a hero. And that's exactly what happened that day. And I was such a hippie. It's probably better you don't remember. It got a little weird there at the end. Unlikely even, but hey, at least we're among close friends. It's very sweet of you, Mr. Mason. Don't worry, Mason, no one finds your life interesting. When I was in therapy, we used to write in a journal with our left hands and let our minds go. It's supposed to reveal your innermost thoughts. Here, I'll start. <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of garbage to me, quite frankly. No offense. Garbage? I, I do it every day. You do? Yeah. Well, you know I'm left-handed. Mace, I'm a professional. Perhaps it's best if you leave this to me. You get paid for this? No. Now, I'm making a list of the women in your life. That won't take long. Once the high-speed train gets funding, that is. There. Done. Did it reveal your innermost thoughts? Let's try something else. And I want to assure you all you're perfectly safe. I assure you I'm the best one to help you. I've helped these men. Oh, God. I miss my wife. <laughs> this exercise will allow you to visualize the life that you will have once you've overcome your obstacles. It was remarkably accurate about my life. Was it? Right. You've never been to my shack. I'm going to assume that you like performance cars. Maybe I should share a story about my divorce. I thought of some good stuff. When my wife remarried, I was best man at her wedding. Is your wife remarried, Mr. Mason? Oh, you know, we don't talk much anymore, because we're divorced. My ex cooks now. Can you believe that? When we were married, it took her like 10 hours to make a TV dinner. Of course, we were 13. You can only cook so fast with a 100 watt bulb. Thank you, but I think it's time we got back to Mace. Yes, it is. Pardon me. I lead this group. You lead it about as well as you coordinate your accessories. My shoes match my bag. Now, Mace, can we get serious for a minute? I have my doubts. I've prepared a powerful therapy tool, and I would like us to try it together. Fine. I suppose if it helps, it helps, right? Good. Now tell me when to stop. Oh, I can't do this anymore. I want you all to leave right now. But you're not cured. Mason, give it a chance. No, 
get out. I'm going to call Jennifer and tell her how you feel about her. That'll help. No, you won't. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Everyone grab an appendage. We're gonna throw Mason outside and show him that his ex-wife can't keep him prisoner anymore. What? No! You need a breakthrough. And I'll be darned if she's gonna be the cause of it. We'll see. What's Jennifer's number? We wanna... Guy. Um, you're right, Mason. We shouldn't call Jennifer. Uh, the person Mason really needs to talk to is his ex-wife. Hand me the phone. No, okay, wait, stop! 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 Hold on, okay? You want breakthroughs? I'll give everyone a breakthrough, and then you can all go home, and I can get on with my life. Yeah? <sighs> you're a pervert. And a moron. Pinning a picture of your ex-wife to a blow-up sex doll? Use tape, idiot. Tape? And you? Is there even anyone on this thing? Hello? Nope, that's what I thought. Stop using this as an excuse to be an asshole. Try having a meaningful conversation with someone every once in a while. I'm afraid of intimacy. Not right now. Look, and I don't even know why you're here. Because I'm divorced. Yeah, and, well, I'm not sure how legal your marriage actually was. You had, like, the best divorce ever. You don't need this. But I'm divorced. Okay. And, Doug, I don't know what your problem is. You never even mentioned your divorce. My wife shot me in my sleep. Oh. Well, yeah, you probably need this. And, Guy, the problem with your divorce was that it was imaginary. And yet traumatizing. Look, I know that you were just trying to be here to support me. Thank you. You see, Lou, this is completely unnecessary. So my ex-wife left me, standing in the middle of the street. Paralyzed with fear, holding an accordion, big deal, that kind of stuff happens all the time. It was emotionally devastatingly crippling, and I felt like a total failure for a long time, but I don't feel that way anymore. Because over the past few years, I've learned some things. Like, it's not my fault that my wife left, and my ex-wife was a bitch. Look, I, I don't like that word, and I'm not saying it out of some latent hostility towards women, I'm saying it because it's true. She wasn't very nice to me, and I'm glad she left, because on the day she left, I met Guy and Ashley, the two best friends I've ever had in this world. And now that my wife's gone, I get to better know Jennifer, the greatest woman I've ever been too terrified to actually tell how I feel about her. But she's gonna figure it out. Eventually. Hopefully. And who, who knew my crappy agent would stand by me when no one else would? Until she disappeared without a word. But then Lou came. And for no reason, and with no discernible skills, she's decided to help me succeed. So yeah, when my ex-wife left, it understandably left a huge hole in my life. But since then, that hole's been filled 10,000 times over by better stuff. So, I'm sorry, but I don't need the divorced men's group. I'm doing just fine without it. Then why are you stuck here? I don't know. Okay, let's throw him outside. No, 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 wait, hold, hold on! But can I get something first? What? When my wife left me, she left me with this, and I thought it would be appropriate if I had it now. You know, a circle of life and all that. I always wondered why I didn't throw it out, and I think now I know why. Yes, Mason. I think that you should have that right now. Oh, I know I should. I know I can help you. Pick a color. Mason! You're still here! Yes, I know, I know. Oh, I hope you never leave. Oh, you play too. I love the accordion. Jennifer, there's something you should know. Mason- I can handle this on my own. I was just going to say you don't actually play the accordion. Some restrictions may apply.